the Frit Crunch Bars are made by Robert <laughs> Irving. And I don't know if you know Robert Irving, but I watched Food Network since I was like, yay high to a cricket. Um, Robert Irving is a professional chef. And he has his own restaurants and stuff like that that I, I'm aware of. He's been on all sorts of competition stuff. And he came out with like fitness power bars. Um, these are really high in protein and stuff like that. And they use sugar alcohols. But they also have sometimes like two grams of sugar in them. So for some reason he couldn't escape the sugar part. I don't know. I, I, I'm not understanding the concept behind that. So they're most likely not keto friendly, but it does low it carb. say gluten free on the side. It's low carb and I think whey protein baked, soft cookie center, 30 grams protein, six sugar. Oh, this one's high. Gluten free. Yeah, so they are gluten free. Um, um, so the serving size is one bar and these are pretty big bars. You just hit my table. <laughs> these are pretty big bars because if you're going to compare them to like an energy drink, same size. Um, which is why I like them because most power bars are like the short little fat things and they're flat. These are not flat. All right, so the nutritional facts on um, this one is 16 grams of fat. Um, saturated is eight. That's pretty high for me. But I'm only going to taste a little bit of it and pick one to go for my day, I guess, um, to just kind of get through it. S cholesterol is 30 milligrams. Sodium is 490, which is pretty high, too. Uh, total carbs is 27, but you're subtracting two fiber and 16 sugar alcohol. Um, so, yeah, and protein is 30. And it's got vitamin D, not a lot. Calcium, iron, and potassium. And there's a quote at the bottom from Robert or Chef Robert Irvine. My goal is simple. I want to empower people through food and fitness to thrive each day. Well, he needs to cut out all that salt and sugar then, dude. That's my opinion. Um, it is also not allergen friendly because... There's a lot of nuts. Oh, there's a lot of nuts and egg products and milk and soy and wheat. And, um... I mean, just looking at the picture, it's it's got actual peanuts in it. Yeah, and, um, it is not keto-friendly because it uses brown rice flour. Oh, wow, it has raspberry puree in this one. Is this the peanut butter and jelly? Mm-hmm. Oh, it has raspberry puree in it. Nice. And elderberry juice. Oh, I'm going to love this. All right. Um, all right. So we're going to start with peanut butter and jelly. Fit Crunch by Robert Irvine, Chef Robert Irvine. And it says the only six layer baked bar, whey protein isolate. So it's six layers. Was the other one I'd say is a six? I had like four layers from what I could tell. It was like the, the cookie brownie sort of thing. And then like a hard thing. And then the crunchy bits. And then the outer chocolate. It was like four layers to now. We'll see if we can figure out the six layers. Ooh, it's very brown. With a little drizzles on it. Swirlies. It looks like a big chunk of peanut butter. We should get a plate and a kniffy. Ah. So you can stuff. see how they layer it, actually. Because it has that pronounced mm -hmm. bottom part. That was definitely manufactured. Alright, so this is peanut butter and jelly. We're going to cut a piece off. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, look how pretty that is. Can you video some of the interior of this? I'm um. seeing the distinct one layer, one layer, two layer, three layer, crispy crunchies, and then the outer coating. Yeah. yeah. Five. That's, that's five. What's the sixth layer? Bottom? The drizzle. Maybe. <laughs> Is the drizzle a layer? You guys know the layers? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this is peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. 
That looks pretty cool. Oh, it smells peanut buttery. It's got like a sunflower kind of smell to it. It has a sunflower taste to it. Mm hmm Did they use sunflower oil? Sunflower lectin. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting sunflower. Mmm, that raspberry puree. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling to find it, but it could be because I just had a small corner. Oh, good. I'm loving the little crunch from the Rice Krispie sort of thing. I don't know what they're using that gives it the little crunch at the top. But it tastes like you're eating dried Rice Krispies. Like how they have like chocolate crunch bars. It's like melting my fingers. And I don't like peanut butter stuff, so this is weird for me. Um, I like the puree. The peanut butter is not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's nice and creamy and smooth. I like it. It's not overly sweet or anything. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, as far as... It tastes like you're eating an old peanut butter and jelly sandwich with raspberry jelly instead of grape jelly. It tastes just like it. It's really good. So yeah, that one's very accurately described as peanut butter and jelly. Alright, what's this one? This one is caramel peanut. And this also says it's six layer. 30 protein, 6 sugar, gluten free, powered by Fortifix, Fort if X. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. it. Sounds like two flavors you don't typically like though. Um, total fat 16, <clears throat> saturated 8, cholesterol 30, sodium 490. It looks roughly the same. Total carb 27 minus 2 fiber minus sugar alcohol. Protein is 30. It's got a little bit of everything. Same quote at the bottom. Pretty much the same ingredients. Tapioca starch. This one has cocoa processed with alkali. Okay. You know what? I challenge Robert Irvine to come up with like a vegan keto friendly bar that still tastes just as good. I challenge you. Go 100% sugar free, dude. Do it. This one is a dark chocolate looking bar and the layers for this oh well, you want to zoom in on the layer I can cut it this direction yeah, caramel well. peanut I'm just gonna assume this is kind of like a Snickers bar maybe all right all right let's try this angle maybe he went for a Snickers bar All right, so let's see if we can see the layers. Six layers, it's claiming. It does look like a Snickers bar. Would that be one and two at the bottom combined together, maybe? One. I got definitely the peanuts and the chocolate and the little crunchies. Two, three, four. I'm still only getting five. What are the six? Is they, Are they counting the drizzle as the sixth layer? Are they counting the bottom is a layer but that's that's just outer coating yeah it's the same as the outer coating but are they counting that as a layer all right so this is caramel peanut my expectation is something like a snickers bar in my opinion it, it looks like a yeah it looks like one i like dark cocoa i can taste it in my nose i can I mean, it's it's all up in my sinuses Honestly, the dark cocoa keeps it from tasting like a Snickers bar, and I can taste the caramel itself. Mm-hmm. It's not... The dark cocoa gives it kind of like a coffee sort of taste. Mm-hmm. This makes it not overpowering, too. I like that. Mm-hmm. I don't like how it's all up in my sinuses, but... 
That gives it kind of a coffee taste to it. Almost. It's definitely finger looking good. Yeah, it does melt on your fingers. And I think I did that in my first initial video of the first one. It melts very quickly in your fingers. They honestly should sell it in like the frozen section. Mm -hmm. So at least you get an opportunity to actually hold on to it. Otherwise, you got to eat it in the package. Because it'll be everywhere. So we got those two. You can't even see that. It's whatever. They're just wrappings. All right, let's go for this one over in the corner. And this one is another peanut butter. <laughs> So that makes this one the chocolate, right? Um, so peanut butter flavored, that's just what it says, peanut butter. So I'm, that still looks like dark chocolate on the top. So I'm guessing peanut butter with a peanut butter with peanuts with peanut They probably peanut did drizzle. this without the caramel. Maybe. Oh, uh, looks like all the same exact information. Yep. So at least he's consistent with it. You don't have to worry about, oh, I'm getting this flavor, it's this instead of this. Which is odd because he's using different ingredients, but he's still ending up with the same exact yeah. <laughs> <laughs> macros and stuff for it. All right, so this is pretty much all the same stuff. I'm seeing sunflower oil in here again. So it might have a bit of a sunflower taste to it. Palm oil. There's a lot of palm being used. Palm kernel. Palm oil. Hmm. I don't know. So this one looks just like that one. It's a dark chocolate with a drizzle. It looks identical to it. So what I'm going to do is caramel peanut there, and, I, and that way I have them organized myself. Um, I'm going to cut through here. I'm loving the crunch. So even though they look the same on the outside, there the are, inside, they are some is. differences. You can see the caramel in that one. Mm -hmm. And this That's one had just... more nuts in it. And this looks like a whipped peanut butter, whereas mm -hmm. this is kind of like actual peanut butter looking, which probably has sun the sunflower in it. I'm still not seeing six layers. But it does have <clears throat> peanuts in that top layer. Just not as much. Yeah, just not as much as the other one did. Let's turn this around. That's not as dark cocoa as the other one either. Mm hmm. Like you were getting a lot of peanut butter. It tastes like whipped peanut butter. It's closer to Reese's peanut butter. Yeah. Like a whipped peanut, like a Reese's peanut butter. That's good for anybody that likes Reese's. I think it's as close as you can get to Reese's without a copyright. <laughs> Robert Irvine. My hands are covered with chocolate. I'm trying really hard not to wear it. I really am. No, she's not. Yeah, that's like a, a peanut butter candy sort of taste. This is more of a coffee sort of flavor, even though it doesn't have coffee in it that I'm aware of. But the cocoa gives it kind of a coffee taste to it. And this is like eating an old-fashioned peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's pretty cool. Oh, I am looking forward to... Another one of the chocolate ones. This one is chocolate chip cookie dough. Ooh, I love cookie dough. I don't know. The other one I had was chocolate something. I don't remember. But chocolate chip cookie dough. A lot of those are hit or miss as far as power bars go. Because I think I remember when I did the Quest one, the chocolate chip cookie dough fell flat. It didn't taste like cookie dough. It I couldn't really taste the chocolate. Even though it had chunks in there, it, it just it fell flat. 
Um, I was just getting almond and chewy. So I think it's really hard. The hard part about it's the cookie dough, getting that flavor, but with, <clears throat> but it being a preservative kind of thing. It's, it's really weird. All the same information. Cocoa butter, brown rice flour, sunflower oil, soy lectin. It's a lot of ingredients. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, the ingredients alone takes up like half the package. This one ripped easier than the others. The others put up a fight. They're like, no, you can't have it. So this is a chocolate with chocolate, lighter chocolate looking drizzle. Chocolate chip cookie dough. And we're gonna slow mo cut it. Oh my gosh. Slow mo. It's already melted to me. All right. It's very mm -hmm. fluffy on the top. It is very fluffy. It's the only one that like crushed when you cut it. Really? Mm-hmm. Like when you cut it, you could see this part like squished and moved. It's the it only one that's all whipped. done like, that. The whole thing looks whipped. Mm-hmm. I'm still only seeing like four layers. Tell us, Robert. Please tell us, tell Robert. us the layers. What exactly are your six layers? Okay. How dare you? I got your chocolate. You got your cookie dough. It tastes like a chocolate cake. But it's kind of, to me, a little... Like, it's subtle flavors. I want to try another piece just to make sure. The other one had like a thickness of a like a fudge or a brownie. Mm -hmm. This it's soft, <clears throat> but still just a little chewy. Not much. Not like those Quest bars that'll give you a workout. It tastes like a chocolate cake to me. What are you getting? I'm getting chocolate everywhere. Everywhere. Well, like I said, I can taste the chocolate. And I can taste the cookie dough. But the cookie dough is a little too subtle to me to be calling it a chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah. It's like essence of cookie dough. Um, but... It is a good cookie dough flavor that's there, and chocolate flavor. You should just label it a double chocolate cookie. Yeah. Because it kind of tastes like it tastes like those baked double chocolate cookies that you get that's prepackaged. Which gives me a cake sort of taste, honestly. They, they kind of taste the same. I mean, it's good. Can we just turn up the cookie dough a little? As far as labeling goes, I'd say 90% accuracy, mm -hmm. um, including the other one that I tasted. Very, very accurate to what it tastes like what they said it was. Mm -hmm. um, as far as what it actually tastes like, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just not grape jelly. <clears throat> it's a different kind of jelly. So it's, And it's more of a sunflower butter. Yeah, it's more of a sunflower peanut butter than a regular peanut butter kind of taste. And this one was <clears throat> caramel peanut. I had the assumption that it would be more of a Snickers bar, but the, I, <clears throat> the cocoa in it, distinct coffee-ish type feel from it. I, I was actually very happy that it wasn't a Snickers flavor, which don't get me wrong, I like Snickers. I love Snickers. I, I didn't want just another Snickers bar. Yeah. Um, and it delivered because that dark chocolate separates that caramel flavor really well. Mm -hmm. Gives it a whole different feel to it. Like, like that that's a good breakfast feel to it. 
um, as far as a power bar goes. The peanut butter, I got like Reese's or some sort of peanut butter Same. candy of some sort. Very like whipped thick. It was it was heavy peanut butter taste. It was good. That crunch that comes with it, it makes it almost feel like a Reese's Pieces bar. Yeah. Or the pieces of themselves. Um, and the chocolate chip cookie dough, honestly, if you labeled it a double chocolate chip cookie by itself, that would definitely best describe it, in my opinion. I wish those ripped in the back instead of in the front. <laughs> Because then I could line them up like so this and take a better picture. What's cool, looking at the bottom of these, I don't know if you can tell from there. Mm, maybe not. All of the, you can tell they're <laughs> all manufactured. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna do the it. bottom I'm is gonna do indented. I know with the first video I did, they're, so the, they're all indented. Yeah, the bottom, the way it's indented, you can tell like they make that outer layer, do all the filling, and, and then put the bottom it. layer on. It looks really cool. Like on a conveyor belt, it just kind of goes mm -hmm. layer by layer, and then they coat it. Well, I think they're made like this. Like, they do the top layer, put the stuff in it, and then put the bottom. So. That's cool. So, out of all of these, oh. which one do you like the most and the least? So, I think the one I liked the most was the caramel. This yes, one. that one. Um, I did like that one the most. It's hard to pick a least because um, they were all really good flavors. Um, I was a little off put. Like I said, this was a sunflower oil kind of taste, but it still was a good flavor. It was It was still a peanut butter and sandwich. Like... This one, I was disappointed at how not intense the cookie dough flavor was. I, I really like cookie dough. It's um, really hard to get in a power bar is the cookie dough flavor. It like, really is. Like, seriously, companies need to stop trying to go for cookie dough and just go for cookie. baked cookie taste. And you, you could probably nail that really quick. But cookie dough itself, it, it's a different texture. It's a different consistency. It's a, it's a different taste uh -huh. altogether. That being said, I think, I think I'm going to have to say the cookie dough one. Because even though I could pick it up, it just wasn't enough. Yeah. I think my favorite one is... I'm surprised you didn't pick the peanut butter because you like Reese's. I do, but this was this was a really good combination of flavors. It was mm. so good. Yeah, I think... I mean, the Reese's is definitely the second one. This one is my favorite as well. Um... But I don't like it in my nasal. Like, like literally, when you're you're eating it, you get that 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 thickness, that that heavy it's taste in your nasal cavity aromatic. from it. Yeah, um, yeah. and the others so the you don't word. get nasal taste. Most people's taste buds. If you have you ever held your nose and ate something, you like cut your taste buds in half. Mm -hmm. Scent is a very big part of taste. Yeah, so it it definitely it's it's up it, it it's up there. Um, <clears throat> I didn't like that part, <laughs> but I did like the flavor itself. Um, this reminded me of like a little kid sandwich that I would make, which was really cool. This was like a, a flashback sort of taste. It's almost like the, uh, those prepackaged, the crusties, the prepackaged yeah. peanut butter and jelly. I love those. Um, and I also did not like the chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, it was kind of a letdown. It was good, as far as a chocolate bar goes, but, I mean, I wasn't wowed by it. It just tastes like any other chocolate cookie or chocolate cake or whatever chocolate. So, I wasn't <clears throat> here for the other flavor, but where would you put that other flavor at? That one, to me, tasted like I was eating, like, a, a brownie or something. Actually, I might have that video. Give me a second. Hold on. All right, let me see if I can minimize us a little bit. Ah, I'm shrinking. I'm not okay. I'm not Scared. okay with this. I'm not okay. It's not okay. Don't let them tell you it's okay. All right, let's put us up in the corner here. Put me in a corner. 
I'm going to add, what would it be? Window capture? Yes, window capture. There it is. And it already, already pulled it for us. What do you mean my hair pulled back? My hair looks so weird pulled back now. Mine's in that weird phase where it does too. Yeah. Hey, fairy fam. I'm coming at you with a bit crunch. It is called uh, Chef Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Cookies and Cream Naturally Flavored Whey Protein Baked Bar. It has 30 grams of protein. Um, it does have 6 grams of sugar. You are correct. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it is gluten free. And I think overall net carbs is like 7. Which isn't Roughly. too bad for a huge... Yeah, breakfast bar. It's really good. Um, so the calories is 380 <laughs> calories for one bar, 16 total fat, eight of which is saturated fat. So that's a lot of saturated fat, sadly enough. Um, cholesterol is only 30. Sodium is 490. That's pretty high, too. Uh, potassium is 100. The dietary fiber is two, and the sugar alcohol is 16, so they did try to go for healthy, but just didn't get there, I guess. Um, I ain't wrong. Uh, let's see, it's got vitamin A, C, calcium, and iron. And these are Fit Crunch Bars. Um, there's a hashtag it's for it down. on Facebook, looks like <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, and a YouTube. Take a bite and share your experience. She's just pretending she can read. This way. There. See? <laughs> this way. I fixed it. So we're going to take a bite and share our experience. So I'm going to let you guys know there is sugar in it, obviously, but there are other um, products, obviously. Okay, let me start so off really to... quick. Are you noticing a difference in, like, my face and everything? Like, I filmed that, like, three weeks ago or so. When was this filmed? How many? That's 22 days ago? I think so, yeah. 22 days ago. Can you see the, the difference? I can, yes. That's insane. <clears throat> and by the way, I do, I grabbed that one specifically because that's at the convenience store um, closer to us instead of going all the way down to the sheets in town, which is like 10, 15 minutes away. Longer than that. But there's a convenience store not too far from here that's on the way out towards the exit um, to take Gavin to his work, to take, you know, the kids to their dads, to, you know, it, it's all on that road. Um, that's the one that they have, and that's the one that I grab if I'm going to, I know I'm going to be in the car for a while and I can't have, like, a breakfast or a decent lunch planned out kind of thing, like... Um, when we get, went to mom's, when I went to my sister's, mm -hmm. that's what I grabbed. Um, uh, and that alone, it, even with the sugars in it, um, the next day I still drop like a few points of a pound because I, that's what I do is my elimination dieting still, even eight, nine months into my dieting. Um, I'm, I'm 10 months almost into my diet. I'm nine and a half months into my dieting and I still do elimination to see if new products affect my diet, if it affects my blood sugar, if, you know, I, I fluctuate, if I can have it again kind of thing. Um, and tomorrow's going to be crazy, I guess. <laughs> I did energy drinks and the Fit Bars. But every time I have that, I think I had a cookout at my sister's that evening and I just had that for lunch with like some peanuts or some cashews or something like that and an energy drink. And I had cookout food and I couldn't track those macros at all. I still went down like a pound the next day. And then I had that and we went to mom's twice and we had all of that food and I either maintained or I dropped a few points. So the Fit Crunch, despite the fact that it's got the sugar in it, despite the saturated fat and everything like that, as a low carb person, I'm on the Endomorph Endo Heart Diet. I've created my own diet. You guys, if you're not aware of that, 
Um, go check out my, my weight loss uh, album, my playlist. Uh, it, it explains all of it. I had to create my own diets. It started off with the endomorph diet and I just kind of incorporated other things and took some things out and it, it, it suits me specifically as far as what my body can and cannot handle. I can handle the Fit Crunch and it's got six grams of sugar in it. So I can handle, I've noticed up to about 10 grams of sugar a day. Okay. But I need to make sure, you know, I, I drink my fluids and, and all of that stuff. So I have to like burn off the sugar at least, but I haven't had an issue with the Fit Crunch bars. Go with proprietary Fort to Fix protein blend, yes, yeah, which is a whey it. protein isolate blend, soy you protein isolate, vegetable it? oils, palm and palm kernel, vegetable glycerin, palm oil, sugar, Not volatile, all sorbitol, gelatin, corn syrup, water, cocoa. Um, Fortify FX. I'm Fortify assuming FX. the cocoa is sweetened, which is where the sugar would come from. Um, contains 2% or less of the following brown rice flour, evaporated cane juice, sunflower oil, monoglycerides, tapioca starch, soy lectin, salt, vanilla, natural flavors, maltodextrin, sodium cassinate, propylene glycol, monoesters, chocolate liqueur, baking soda, citric noticed. acid, whey, beta carotene, oh vitamin A. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just chemicals, basically. That's me staring at it and then my um, eyes not wanting to read. Sucralose, natural, tocopherols, yep. if they could <clears throat> actually, you know, make words that we could pronounce. That'd be great. That'd be great. Appreciate it. Peanuts, almonds, and silicon dioxide. It sounds like something I would put on my tires. Um, <laughs> contains milk, soy, peanuts, and almond products for all of those allergen-friendly people. It is not allergen-friendly. Um, this is also and not keto-friendly for all my keto people on my Sorry, I'm like... My <laughs> channel. I need to go through all my Sorry. old videos and just basically uh, rag on myself, be I guess. Low carb. I so if you're just low-carb but not keto, this might fly. Especially since the sugar, like... I mean, it's six sugars, but I don't know. I have a feeling it's in the cocoa because I'm not seeing anything really in there other than the cane sugar syrup stuff. So we're going to open this up. Which would be it. Duh, Faye. There we go. That's, that's what I was waiting on. Hold on. You're covering yourself up. I know. Is that roughly the same size? I don't, I don't know. We, we, I don't we think can't I can get, get this that angle. angle because we're up there, but you definitely, you definitely have a lot less neck. <laughs> How do I make these faces all the time? <laughs> I'm like a Disney movie. You never pause a Disney movie because <laughs> you're going to get some crazy faces. Yeah, you definitely... Yeah, even just trying to the, lean back, I can't get it. Just in the past few weeks, you've lost more. That's insane. Looking good there. Um, I don't know how to get that resized back. Well, first off, you have to start with minimizing this again, which is just a video player. Open it up. It's like Christmas morning. Oh, look how pretty that is. Ooh, that is pretty. It is. It's got like a white chocolate or something. Out there. Fancy. It is. That Compared is to these, the these are all brown. protein bar I've ever seen. That's fancy. You also have more cheap it's also definition bigger going than on. Other protein mm -hmm. bars. Like other protein bars. They have more chin, too, because if you mm -hmm. notice, I've got like mm -hmm. jowls going on Ooh. there, which is genetic thing. Like That's all the females sweet. on my mom's side have like these like part that hangs that is, down. That is a good cookies and cream. All right, so let's bite into it. It's kind of got like a divot in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I pointed out the divot. <laughs> I called it a divot. There you go. Oh, it's got a little crunch on the top. The top layer is crunchy. Kind of like the Rice Krispies stuff. 
<laughs> That's a I layer. Like a riced candy bar. Yeah, it's one layer. This is very candy bar like. Six or five. The bottom layer is like a solid chocolate. I can count four to five. And you usually. got like a brownie sort of layer. It's really thin. Yeah, I think I called and it then a brownie. You got like a fluffy layer and a creamy chocolate layer. And then you got the coating. At least that's what it looks like for me. Mmm. I gotta say, it's more like a a candy bar than a protein bar. Yeah, we said that too. I think it, it's 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 very candy it's bar. Like I'm having a treat. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like that a lot. So, how would you rate that? You all know me. I've been losing weight. Protein bars. It's one of my favorites. Are a very good way of getting protein. But I would still probably don't feel have like making this over that. Fish and chicken. But I just don't want to go all the way up all day long to get your protein. That's fair. Since my diet specifically focuses on veggies more than anything, I need my extra proteins. This beats a lot of the protein bars I've had. It does. Like hands down. Like Quest bars are just chewy and thick and ho hum flavor, whereas this Cheeto this layers. is like you're eating a candy bar well, for Quest bars are a chewing exercise. Yeah. This is like you're eating a candy bar. Now if they could get rid of all of like the this. sugar and um, so I'm gonna highly do a little tweaks. Low carb and. You can handle sugar, I guess. Um, otherwise, I can handle low sugar carb clearly. And you, you exercise. Can, you can see the difference. I don't exercise. In 20 days, so and I've been eating them fit, at least crunch two a week. I think I've been eating them because I've been on the road a lot lately. I don't know if I should hashtag it though. I'm not all about hashtagging stuff. <laughs> oh, do they have Unless I'm on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so they have You're a supposed website, to share your experience or something. Com, and they are manufactured yeah, Robert. In no, we'll hashtag you. On YouTube? Can I hashtag on YouTube? I don't know, but you can post a link to it on your Instagram and hashtag, maybe? Post the YouTube link with the hashtag for You them. can't post a link on Instagram. Why Instagram? Yeah, not even in a comment or a Why? caption. You can't post a link. Does it just not post as a link or it doesn't let you post it? It doesn't post as a link. They can copy and paste it. No, you can't copy and paste on Instagram either. That's why I have a link to my YouTube at the top in my description and that can be a link. <laughs> That's clickable, but anything you post then, is not then, clickable. Then we can hashtag them and be like, hey, check out the channel. We got a video for you on there. But they're on links in the description. Are Twitter they on too. I can share on Twitter and Facebook. There we go. Yeah. You just can't do it on Instagram, and I sure as hell don't have Pinterest. That's a no. I get Pinterest emails like seven times a day. At Big Crunch. Can you tag somebody in a YouTube video? I don't know. I could try. I could hashtag the video itself. Maybe. Maybe. Um. But yeah. Anyway. Chef Robert Irvine. You cut your head off. If you could please, please, please take the sugar out. That would lower the carbs drastically. Because six net carbs is not terrible. But it's not keto friendly. And, and um, if you could make it kind of more allergen friendly. I mean, I, I get it. People love peanut butter and peanuts and stuff, but there's other flavors out there. Yeah, maybe, maybe make an allergen-friendly one. Allergen or if there is one and we're, we just haven't found it, let us know. Yeah. Uh, if you could also let us know what all the layers are. Yeah, I what are the like, layers? I feel like we're missing a layer, and it could be something simple that we're just not thinking of. It's not like I can completely deconstruct it piece by piece. There's the jelly. That alone would be like jelly, crispy, whatever it is. And what is the crispy stuff? Yeah, what is the crispy? Because it's really cool. I like the crunch. Is it like Rice Krispies? I did it, it's, it's probably. Don't exactly say. Unless I'm reading it, what it is, and I'm not comprehending the ingredients. 
which is common too because y'all yeah. use big words for like no reason Ooh, that was good. oh this one's got apple juice in it the peanut butter and jelly pear puree i'm loving all the fruit that's in that one it, it seriously reminds me of like when I was a little kid and I would just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you could make like something incredibly similar that's more keto friendly than like, like I think these specifically are for like people that exercise. Like for us people that are just dieting that, that don't <clears throat> exercise. I can't exercise. I haven't exercised what I think I walked maybe three, four times the entire time I've been dieting since December. Glycerins and gelatins and, you know, you could sub that out for like, uh, well, I think that Xyl or what Xanthan gum stuff, which is a little weird a to work with, to is, be fair. Is you're right. It, it is, um, it is more for like a workout bar. I think the, it's a workout bar more the than type a dieting of bar. Protein, that whey protein, that's definitely a workout protein. Mm -hmm. um, so those glycerins and everything else, I think, are help with that. So for as far as a workout bar, I don't think he can change that. Um, but he could probably definitely sub out the sugar. And calling it a soft cookie center, I'm not getting a cookie. Like honestly, it could be well, a cookie center. I think that's center. just like all of them have this guy. That's right the there. whipped stuff. That's not cookie. Right, but I it's think, whipped to me. I think that's the soft cookie center it's referring to. Because all of them have it. All of them have that little, little guy. Label them as fitness candy bars. It is. Fitness <laughs> crunch. It's, it's, it's what it says. Fitness candy bars. The pictures actually on the packages looks like the melted version of what it would be, I think. I think they embellished the picture a little bit. No, I think if you melted it down, it would probably look like that. It looks like the melted version. You can make a keto friendly version, like an actual like diet bar instead of a workout protein sort of bar. Like I get that this is a workout protein bar. This isn't for dieters that are watching calories and carbs and whatever. I mean, I'm glad you use sugar alcohol. Wait, I don't need these on anymore. But um, yeah, if you can make an actual just a diet bar or a diet candy bar <laughs> um that would be really cool i i would, would i would invest in that myself like I, I would probably buy that more often but like i said i can have one of these at least twice a week i don't exercise and it doesn't affect my dieting anyway this has probably ran like an hour long now um so thank you all for tuning in we really appreciate it Check out, especially if you exercise, dieting, if you're low carb, it's an iffy thing. Um, moderation, obviously, it's, it's specifically made for protein, like if you really need that protein and stuff. Um, but if you are somebody that exercises and stuff, check out The Fit Crunch by Chef Robert Irvine. And what did you, how did you pronounce it? Fort Fortify FX. Fortify fx not all of them have that written on them but i'm i'm pretty sure that's yeah, who's fort sponsoring them proprietary fortify fx protein blend we are going to try to hashtag the video with my limited abilities on my phone and we're going to try to share it out and hopefully chef robert irvine or his conglomerate of people um Hopefully somebody see it to us. and they get the general idea that yeah this is really cool it tastes awesome we like it and we don't exercise we're not like power lifters or runners or anything like that it's not gonna happen um but Ryan would love these yeah it does inspire us my brother would too because he exercises um, it does inspire us to kind of throw it out there and ask can you make a keto friendly version that is still as good as a consistency and taste. Um, can you make a diet friendly bar or even an allergen friendly bar or sugar free and I don't know, 
whatever else. Um, just go crazy with the possibilities because there's so many people out there that, that struggle with dieting and stuff and the, the amount of protein and, and stuff in there people need when it comes to dieting and we just need lower carbs and stuff like that. So maybe a meal replacement bar would be cool. A cool idea. I mean, these almost have the, this, this almost can be one. They are for me. 30, yeah, 30 that's, grams of protein. That's, 30 that's grams a meal. of protein is like a third of my day. <laughs> it's 380 calories. So it's not a lot of calories, but it is a lot of. It's a lot of calories for me. a lot of everything. So I mean, it basically is. Or I'm on a deficit. Be. But yeah, these, these are really good as a candy bar. <laughs> really good. For us, anyway, because we don't exercise. It's a candy bar for us that we can have. So thanks. <laughs> um, and we will catch you guys in another video at another time. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's